Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. teams themselves will be with us shortly the atmosphere predictably wonderful and the mood is boisterous it is a perfect ambience for the central characters who are ready now to perform so a strong start essential for both teams here as they look to head towards the knockout stage yeah, and it's obvious, Peter, you don't want to be playing catch-up after the opening group game. So we can expect this to be highly competitive. Three points here and the feel-good factor of eventual progression kicks in. It's a, a great foundation to tackle the rest of the, uh, the group games. We have already started here. And it's played forward. Tries to get it clear. The handback. Forwards and with intent. Gently done. Chance to break. And that's left him on the seat of his pants. It's all a little bit desperate, but it's got the job done. Well, that tackle was immense, and so was the relief. The great escape. the delivery defending of the desperate variety that's a good block but at the expense of a corner your hand back that is lovely. Has a goal! And that's caused a worry or two. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Uh, that's been intercepted. Now, who's going to be first to this? He could be in here. He's got away. As Moon. Tarini! It's a carbon copy of the previous miss. Iran really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Up to meet it! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. A more than decent attempt, Peter. A 
a real chance to break. Fiddles it through. Now it's Karemi. Passing is crisp and sharp. Muscular approach does pay off here. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. There's the hit! They've scored! And it's Iran who take the lead! Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. Iran get themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Uzbekistan certainly could do with a positive spell for the remainder of this half, just to set the tone for what's to come. the test well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage lovely feet no he wasn't going to let him pass Now, here's a good battle, bicep to bicep. And the half-time whistle goes. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. Uzbekistan don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in the second half. They can't hold back though. Oh, it's come loose. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. And he's going to have his name taken. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. He's there to clear it. Godos. Your handbag already, of course, on the score sheet. Oh, that's nice. And he's there to get it away. Hosseini. It's Goros. Tarebi. Oh, red. Nice interception. 
Now it's your hand batch. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. Moved forward and quickly so. He's going for goal! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Gets it away. Uzbekistan showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. There is an irresistible, irrepressible look about them here. You know, the interest value in this game might just take off from here. Now it's Taremi. Keeper's got good distance on that. The handback. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking re Asmoon! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. And they win it back again. Moved on forwards. Shifted upfield. Well, the moans and groans from the stands now are very audible. The handback. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. The pressing's intense, and it's paid off. Asmoon. Can he latch on to this? Ah, he's had it taken off him. And they're not going to make any further progress now. Taremi. He is just caressing the ball. Spread out to the left. Now then, the ball's come loose. Great defending, strong and determined. Played out to the right. You can never be short of runners in the space, as long as the... Sp He's got a hit! Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. Look, their path is set. They have to take risks in every situation now. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. He's left his man. Good spot, he's seen the run. A hefty challenge, but fair enough. Iran can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. And he's forced to go back. They're avoiding the blatantly obvious by not getting the ball into the opposition box. That's where it has to be. Sends it forward. Keep the ball and you win the game. It really is that simple. I think we're about to see a frenetic finish. Uh, no half measures from here.
He's onside. Two minutes to be added on. And that will be the final act.